Welcome to Frontier Trading Company. Today, I'm showing you how to throw a tomahawk. First thing that we need to talk about is placement. When you throw a tomahawk, it rotates through the air, and if you're not standing in approximately the right spot, the head of your tomahawk won't make contact with the target. I like to start out about seven casual paces away from my target, and when I make my step, which we'll talk about later, I step into the sixth pace. And once you start throwing your tomahawk, you might notice a few things. And this seems like common sense, but when it was explained to me, it opened my eyes to properly throwing the tomahawk. Once you've found your placement and you begin to throw, if you notice that the head of your tomahawk is making contact with the target and not the blade, then you can step a little closer, because that means you're getting too much spin on each throw. If you start throwing and you notice that the handle is hitting the target instead of the head, then you can step a little further back, because that means you're not getting enough spin on each throw. The proper place to stand when I'm throwing tomahawks is about right here. Once you've found that spot, we need to talk about grip. If you make a fist with your hand, you'll notice that it doesn't naturally make a circle, it makes a line. And that line is perfect for the ovular shape of a tomahawk handle. Now when you first hold your tomahawk, you want to act as though you're shaking hands. Put your hand out, and you'll find that the handle rests nicely in the fatty part at the base of your thumb, and it comes out between the knuckles on your pointer finger. And that point where you hold the tomahawk is called the fulcrum. It's the point at which the tomahawk pivots in your hand, and it's where spin will begin when you release the tomahawk. That fulcrum point can be adjusted. If you choke up on the tomahawk, it moves up the tomahawk, and you'll get more spins within each throw. If you hold it a little lower, then your spins will be a little wider, and they'll be a little slower. And you don't want to hold your tomahawk too high. You might think that you know, faster spin is better. But what you want is a graceful, gentle, athletic throw. And so the best place to hold it, I've found, is about two fingers from the base of the handle. I'm a little too close to my target to do any real throwing right now, but I want to go over a few things before we get into that. The first is the way that you hold your tomahawk. Let gravity pull it downward. Let gravity pull that head straight. Because you shouldn't be able to see it. Your handle should obstruct your view. That ensures a clean, straightforward throw. If you hold it inward or you flare it outward, then the tomahawk is going to wobble in the air, and you're more likely to hit your target at an angle, and therefore your tomahawk will bounce off. You want a good, straight, clean shot right into your target, because that's where it's going to stick. And the second thing is the way that you cock back your arm. You can decide to drop your arm low and bring it down with a lot of force, um, or you can kind of keep it a little higher like this. But at some point during your throw, when the tomahawk is about here, and the head is near your own, you need to make sure that you hit two 90 degree angles and parallel lines between the handle and your upper arm. And that ensures a straight throw. I've seen people throw like this, it rarely works. I've seen people throw like this, and that rarely works either. And usually you see somebody throw like that, you say, hey, like, what are you thinking here? Um, what's, what's the goal? And they say, well, I wanted to throw the tomahawk low, or I wanted to throw the tomahawk high. And you can do either of those things, but that doesn't have anything to do with the way that you bring the tomahawk down. You should treat it like a hammer, really. Bring it down straight and clean, right onto your target. The way that you aim low or aim high has completely to do with your release point. So if I was going to throw straight, I would want to release my tomahawk right here. And you notice that my hand is pointing directly towards my target. If I throw high, I go through the same throwing process, I just release high, or low if I want to throw low. It's pretty simple, but keep in mind, it has nothing to do with the way that you're throwing. It's completely where you release. And when you release, you want to point directly at your target. You can use your thumb like a bead to find your aim. And the next thing is my step. I've mentioned that I like to take seven steps and step back into my sixth. That just has to do with coming forward in an athletic way. If you move your entire center of mass towards your target, you're more likely to get a straight shot. Your body's not twisting, there's none of that. And you're really, you know, the whole thing is about forward motion and athleticism. When you release the tomahawk, if you're moving towards your target, it's much more likely to fly straight. Now, the last thing that I like to cover when I kind of go through these steps is kind of how you're holding your tomahawk before you approach these things. I've seen some younger kids that try to prop it on their shoulder and they launch it like this, and some adults who drop the tomahawk low and cross their back and pull it up like this. And the figure of speech that I always use to express my nerves when I see that is about pancakes. I tell people, hey, I've been in campsites early in the morning, you're flipping pancakes and maybe you drop one and you hear it hit the ground. I could go my whole life without hearing a pancake hit the ground in my tomahawk range because that means somebody's clipped their ear. I never ever want to see that. I don't want to hear any pancakes hit the ground in my tomahawk range. 
hold it straight, drop it back straight, don't bring it out, don't bring it in. A good, clean, straight shot, you'll stick it every time. Please don't be too discouraged if you're not sinking your tomahawk on your second or third try. You know, some people figure this out really easily and other people take a few hours to fully master the concept. Once you have fully mastered it and you're able to stick tomahawks consecutively, throwing is a lot of fun. It's pretty satisfying, really. But you need to be mindful that in that fun and satisfaction, you allow this tomahawk a proper sense of respect. It's not a toy, it's a tool or a weapon even. For at least a hundred years, tomahawks were the cause of death for countless people across the American frontier. Understand what you're working with, know the history of this tool or weapon, um, and be cognizant of that as you're practicing and throwing. It's a dangerous sport or activity, um, and you assume a, a sense of risk every time you use it. Now there are ways to mitigate that risk, and I'm always quick to tell people you're okay throwing with a dull tomahawk. A general rule of thumb with knives or axes or any kind of blade is that a sharp one is a safe one. And in this case, you can use a dull tomahawk. You just need a simple bevel to stick into an old rotted piece of wood like this one. You don't need a razor. And there are people who have come down into this range with their own tomahawks sharpened, razor sharp, and they're always excited to say, yeah, I can shave some hair off my arm with that. And usually I don't let those people throw unless I can tell that they're really, really experienced. And the reason is, if you're throwing a really sharp object through the air, you're just more likely to get hurt. Like I say, you don't need a sharp edge. You can use a dull one, and it's safer that way too. If you enjoyed this video, then be on the lookout for other Frontier Trading Company videos about throwing knives, flaming tomahawks, how to care for and sharpen edges on the frontier, and how to turn modern tomahawks into frontier masterpieces.